Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to I'm going to be reviewing Amphibia season 1 episode 17 B called Fiddle Me This and first I wanted to say you know, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell you know, share the video and um, you know tomorrow I'm going to be doing episode 18, which is um, Combat Camp and the Big Bug Ball game. So, okay, um, fiddle me this. <clears throat> Alright, um, so we start... At the beginning where they're um, gonna shop basically and um, you know um, Hop Up's like, like hey there, there's a spot and Polly's like I don't know it's a little bit snug and Hop Up's like, like nonsense and he's doing like, best he's like the, the car like bop bop and then it's scratching the shell but in Bessie's shell with two other shells because he's parking to a tight space and the sheriff, you know, we haven't seen the sheriff in, like, uh, when, when was the last time we saw him? The, um, what was it, Hop Hop and Luck? When he tried to arrest Sprig or tell him to get out of here when he's doing that back alley stuff. <laughs> um, and then the, the sheriff turned around, he's having a sandwich. He, he's, like, you know, doing this. And Hop was like, he, he's going to park in the space. And then Hop was like, all right, kids, to come back in 15 minutes. And then he's like, alright, hop, hop, and so Anne, Polly, and Sprague go to separate ways, and hop, hop, like, ooh, uh, Ascot, and I'm delimited. And, you know, and, and he's like, oh, hey, Wartilda, you know, oh, hey, hop, hop, like, the, the usual, yep, you know, five, five Ascots, and, you know, and he's like, hey, you know, it's a great time you're coming to buy Ascots, because, you know, um, because my, my daughter, just got accepted to Newtopia University, and then you know, um, then Hop Up's like, Whew. that's the big leads right there. And he's like, yep, she's got a bright future and better time than ever because Ascots are not selling anymore. You know, and Hop Up's like, yeah, the vegetable stand isn't doing too well either. You know, um, how about four Ascots this time, or Tilda? And you know, Hop Up you know, closes the door. She has this bag of Ascots, and he's like, I uh, hope I'm. You know, I hope I can I can get the chance of give to give Sprig and Polly a better future. And then you know, he's like, huh, what's over there? More ascots? And you know, and then you know, Sprig's like, woohoo! Amphibia's got talent, it's coming to Wartwood. And Hop Hop Hop's like, what is this nonsense? And then, you know, um and then you know, um Anne's like, Hey, we we got the seven heart world because you know it's kinda like America's like, got talent and you know, the voice and stuff like that. Um, it's a, hey, we got to my world. It's where, um, it's where, um, what did you say? Dumb people go on TV and prove that they're special. And then, and then Paul's like, that's potentially humiliating. And then it's like, yeah, you get it. And Paul's like, yeah, I get it. He, he, he. And then, you know, I didn't, you know, um, Sprig is like, you, you know, like playing a fiddle. They're like, hey, it would be pretty cool to play my fiddle on stage for once. And he's like, huh? Huh? And Hop Hop's like, like, no, you don't want to be doing that. And it's like, well, one thing's for sure, uh, winning a competition like this will set you for life, uh, of success and opportunity. And Hop Hop has this future, like, like you know, of this gate that's the shape of a giant fiddle. And then you know, you have the, like Sprig older with his hair very suave, Bollywood brown hair. But she's, she's like a tadpole. You have really, really old Hop Hop in a wheelchair. And Anne wearing like a nurse's outfit with white shoes. She has two shoes. Hooray. And then, you know, Hop was like, ah, I'm finally at peace. I can die. And then Paul's like, wait, if this is the future, why don't I have any legs? And then it's like, why am I still here? And pa Hop Hop's like, quiet. I'm trying to die in peace. But question here. Two things. Polly not getting legs probably, you know, symbolizes... Hop Hop doesn't want Polly to grow up too fast. The Anne part. Anne's like, why am I still here? Hop Hop knows about the box. The Calamity box. Hop Hop buried it. That's Anne's way home. And 
if Hop Hop won't let and use it, then how's Ant supposed to get home? And now Hop Hop's fancy, Ant is still with her. Is Hop Hop trapping Ant? I don't, I don't know. That's not good. But yeah, this is just a fantasy, so like you don't know if that's actually gonna happen or not. But I, I'm kind of, I'm worried. But um, basically, um, um, and you know, basically, you know, Hop Hop is like having his fantasy, and it's like, like, and snapping his her fingers like in front of Hop Hop, like Hop Hop, wake up, and it's like, oh, Spring's like, oh, we need to get an ambulance or something, we need to get a hospital, and and Hop Hop's like, relax, boy, no, come on, let's do this, because with your um dedication and my motivation towards you, we'll get it, we'll have a sure win, and Spring's like, well, you know, I I just want to have fun, and Hop Hop's like, yeah, yeah. And then they go home. Wait, first Hop Hop. This is my complaint in the episode. I have a couple of complaints, actually. This episode. This is kind of really, like, a filler. Um, except for that dream, the dream sequence. I'm like, kind of like, uh. But um, other than that, it's pretty, you know, laid back episode. But I have a couple of complaints. This is one of them. Where Hop Hop's like, and how did you buy all that? And she's oh, I may or may not have mortgaged the house. And Hop Hop's like, you what? And I'm like, the first I'm watching, like, and that's not good. And I know you are a shoplifter. I know you lie. And I know you try to get out of work. But marketing the house, no. Ugh, why did the show have a tendency to go too far sometimes? And that's too far. Why? I don't know. But anyway, and mortgage the house. So they'd have to win now. Sorry. I hope it doesn't thunder anymore because I was doing that in, in the earlier video I did today. Um, what was it called? Um, cursed. But um, anyway, um, so and mortgage the house, great. So it's the ninety five percent because why did you do that? And then we get home and then you know a hop hop has this like chalkboard as a picture of a moth and he's, and he's like the moth, nature's most seductive animal. And then it's like all right. And Spring's like okay. Polly's like okay, whatever. And then you know um. And you're in charge of costume design. And, you know, and Drew, you know, Sprig, and this, little, like, you know, kind of ethereal costume. I'm thinking ethereal. And, like, you know, stuff like that. And, and Hop was like, oh, dude, that's very creative. I love it. And, you know, um, then, like, you know, Polly. And then, you know, they have a special job for you, Polly. And she, she's like, yes, Chief. And then she puts a, and he's like, your morale, your morale officer. And then Paul's like, what? That's not a real job. I don't want to be the talent. I can sing. And Hop Hop, you know, trying to be fair. He's like, okay, show me what you got. And he, she's like, <clears throat> here's a little ditty. I wrote this. Yeah, I wrote this myself. And she's like, wah, like doing this banshee whale. It blew off Sprig's hat, made um, um, Anne's face wriggle, um, broke Hop Hop's pencil. And it knocked out a bird. I think it knocked out a bug. And it also um, like broke a snail shell. Not Bessie's snail. A snail does passing by their house. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then, you know, um, it broke some windows, I think, too. Probably not, but I thought it did. And then, you know, and Polly's like, yeah. And Hop puts a morale officer on hat on Polly. It's like, like I said, morale. And Polly's like, fine. <laughs> And then, you know, um, Hop Hop's like, Sprig, you had the toughest job of all. Like, and we're going to be doing our your act together. And Sprig's like, huh? You know, this will be brutal. You know, we'll, we'll, you know, practice from dusk till dawn, from rain to shine, from from heck to frog or whatever you said. And, and Sprig's like, oh, Hop Hop, don't you think we're taking this a bit too seriously? And she's like, no, Sprig, this takes dedication. Like, yeah, success takes dedication, sacrifice. Look, you don't want to end up like that guy, do you? He's pointing to a worm outside the window. It's like, like no job, no future, no prospects. And uh, Spurs like, hop up. That's a word. That's that's a worm. And you know, he blows a whistle. Like, Let the hard work begin. And he's like, you know, it was like day one. And you know, you know, Sprig is. Like, you know, you know, playing his fiddle. And he's, like, he's cracking, like, an egg, spider egg that, for Sprig to drink. Um, Anne is, like, you know, designing this, um, 
costume. It looks ter I agree, it looks terrible. And it's like, well, this is terrible. And she like threw it into a fire and and hop up to spray the practice's faces like like um honest cute, like shy cute, a uh, cute cute, a uh, jealous cute, and he's like jealous cute. And and, and, and Sprig's like, I don't even know what that looks like. He blows the whistle again, like day two. And then, you know, Sprig is playing his fiddle, but, but, um, Hoppa said, do it again. And then, you know, um, be, because it's just gonna be like the flight of the moth, um, I guess he's gonna be like picked up and like dragged around. He, um, you know, <laughs> probably the morale officer, you know, kicks the ladybug, and ladybug is like, you know, dragging Sprig around while he has to play his fiddle. Um, next thing, you know, Hop Hoppa's on Sprig, and like he's playing where like a, um, a sweater, I think, and, and a hat with a whistle. He's like, he's playing the whistle, and you, you have to play the fiddle while you're being chased by this m swamp mole. And then, you know, we have we hear Sprig play, and it's really good. And, you know, and Anne's like, yeah, you did, you know, Sprig's like, how's that? And, you know, um, Anne's like, you did great, dude. And Paul's like, you're gonna slay, brother. And then, you know, Hoppa throws this clipboard, and he's like, oh, you called that an act. I counted five mistakes, Sprig. Five or was it three? I forgot. Sorry, <laughs> it's early in the morning. Um, and then Sprig's like, "Well, it doesn't have to be perfect, right?" And Hoppus like, "It does if you want to win." Now go give me fifty laps. And then Sprig finally stands up to himself. He's like, "Hop, hop, this is crazy. I just want to go up there and have fun." And Hop, hop's like, he goes up to Sprig's face. He's like, "Fun." Can fun buy you food? Can fu fun buy you a mortgage? Can fun uh, pay your house with a giant gate shaped like a fiddle? Like can buy, uh, can um you know can buy you know, drinks and stuff, and like you know and food and prosperity. I I think that's what he was saying. And the you know and spirits like what? And then hop up blows his whistle and the spirits like fine fine fine. And you know and Polly and Anne give each other a look like ugh. Then we get to the, you know, it looks pretty cool, like, the stage, um, and I forgot to mention, we're not gonna get to this in, like, in a bit, like, toward the end of the episode, sorry, but, um, and we, we basically, they say, like, oh, Amphibious got talent, and, you know, I like the purples and blues, it is attracting these, um, moths, and the moths are attracting these gigantic bats, and then this guy that's controlled the light, so get out of here, you bat, and you get these two newts, actually, and the last time we saw a newt, I think, was, um, what was it? I if Valeriana is a newt was bizarre bizarre. And and those two guards pe people that took Wally away. Hopefully he's okay. I, I'm sure he is, but hopefully. But um be uh, <clears throat> basically, um, you know, you had these two newts and then okay, let let the show begin. First it was these tadpoles with this big big frog, you know, conducting a choir, the little babies are singing. They all look pretty nice. This is um um, I'm not sure, it, spoilers for Toy Story 4, which it wasn't that great, but there, there was this a character called Duke Kaboom. It kind of reminded me of the, this guy, kind of being Daredevil. Uh, he's, uh, has, he's wearing like the white suit and a motorcycle. He's jumping through a flame here, but he like, misses. And then, you know, um, the mayor is on top of Toadie. Toadie's riding the unicycle while Mayor Toad still is on top of him, and he's juggling like oranges, I think. And then you know, the lady's like, I'm thinking no, launch them. And then they're like, what? And they just launch them and hop up. We gotta hop up right here. Like, ha, ha, ha. And here's another complaint in the episode. It's only for a second, but I just don't understand what Hop Hop is saying right here. He's say, like, alright gang, this is ours to lose. Don't, don't you want to win? This is ours to win? I don't understand. And you have Anne right here putting makeup on Sprig. And I like Sprig's hair. It's like all moose stuff and Polly's just there. He's wearing like this cone to cover up his clothing and stuff like that to make sure it doesn't get a mess on it. So it's a 90% because Hoppa, why did you say that? And then uh, you know, and he's like, you're race break? And then you know, he's like, like, oh, you know, ready as I'll ever be. And he's like, well, then go out there and win, win, win. And then you know, um, then we get this, look at their designs, they look pretty cool. Um, you know, you got the lady, like, you know, right, lady, lady new. He's like, all right, next. Con con contestant Sprig Plantar, you know, and, and this guy's like, oh, Sprig, because you know they're like, oh, these bumpkins. And he's like, uh, performing Flight of the Moth, and then you, we get like this. Look at this costume right here with the star and the moon and the antennas and the the moth with the the lightning or like the stripe. He has his fiddle, and they're like, 
whoa, but they were suspecting like something country or something. But like they're like, woo, and like, oh, look how um, look how sparkly his eyes are. And then she's like, hello there. And he's like, I know, right? I think I'm playing two clips this half of the episode. But I'm trying to should I do it now. Should I do it later. Ugh, I don't know. Mm. I'll do it now. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too long. But you hear him playing the fiddle when I first watched it at this half of the episode. Because, you know, I do it again for my review. Oh, beautiful. I love classical music. I'm not sure which one's my overall favorite. Um, I love country. I love jazz. I think jazz is my favorite. But it's, you know, jazz, country, classical music, and, you know, classic rock. But, yeah, classical music. If you can do it well. Oh, beautiful. Love it. But, you know, you see Sprig, you know, playing his fiddle and stuff. And you see him, like, jumping around the, the crowds, cheering it. And you get the lady. Um, they knew she, she's wearing like a like a nice dress, but has kind of like a spider design on it. Well, okay, and you know they're, they're like you know having their fingers, you know, and that's what you do. Professionals do is that they close their eyes and they feel the music and they just like moving their finger around. Very professional. I really appreciate that they added that in. Besides, something that real people do, and you know. um you and you just like hop up like it's working like now man like the, the final touch and you know um and pulls on the rope and you see like spring you know, flying around um and like you know and they're like ooh and look at like her she's like crying he's like amazed with it and you know um and hop up like like oh uh, like oh uh, like what do you say I don't want to play the clip is there something else I want to play I don't want to play three I want to play two but what do you say again oh uh, shoot. Um, I basically just sum it up. He said, like, this is everything I hope for. For. Sorry, I thought I heard something. This is everything I've hoped for. And, like, you know, he sees eyes. And then you see Sprague playing. And, like, you know, this, um, uh, why, why did I skip over it? Where'd it go? Well, the, but what was happening here is a bat is, is took sprig, but I don't know where the bat is. Where did it go? Okay, there you go. <laughs> it's so the wings are so you know are black and gray that you can't see if it's in the shadow. But it, it's like a split split second thing. So I'm sorry. This is all you can get to see out of it because I don't want to look for it. And then you know, Anne, Hop Up, and Polly are like ah, and you can see like the bat. Have you know holding Sprig in his teeth? Oh my God! Look at that! And then the you know, and it's like, what what can we do? And the young know, and Polly's like, what can we do? And they, they duck, and you know, um, the bats are you know dragging Sprig around, and Hop Up is sweating. We don't he doesn't know what to do. And he's like, and go over by the judge's table and pull the lever when you get my signal. And he and she's like on it, and she's like, excuse me, I'm saving my best friend. And she's like, oh, I love your hair. She's, you know, she's talking about the lady you note. Know. Look, look, America's, I mean, blah. Amphibious got talent in the gold. It looks pretty cool. And, you know, um, and Hop Hop and Polly go on the sand. He's like, like hey, hang on to me, Polly. And then, you know, and he's like, now, Anne. And, you know, um, she, like, like, launches on the springboard to launch the mare. And, you know, in the, um, Look at his face. Look at those faces. They're uh, so funny. And, uh, you know, they go into the, the back. They're trying to get it to let go of Sprig. And, you know, it then, you know, he's like, <laughs> look at the faces. He's like, Polly, now is your time to shine. Sing. Because remember the banshee wail that she did earlier be until she got promoted to morale officer. And she's like, <gasps> And look at that face. Oh, it's just so awesome. And she's like, wow. And everyone's covering her ears. Look at her face. Like, oh my gosh. And, you know, the, the bat doesn't like it because, you know, they use their ears for echolocation. That's where their ears are so big. And, you know, it, let goes this, it, let, it lets go sprig. And, you know, the 
bat flies towards the moon, and then, you know, Anne is like, I gotcha, I gotcha, and they're falling, and, um, this is another complaint. It's an animation thing, but you see how, <laughs> look at the faces, a uh, sprig, hop, hop, and probably about to land on the shit stage. You would think Anne would, like, you know, he's, and she's, like, right by the stage, and she's about to go I, on the stage to go save them, because, and you don't see her there, but the next frame, you see her on the stage. Where was she? It's an, it's an animation thing, but it's a 85% because I'm like, mm, I, animation things is like, you know, like, ugh, wh wh why wouldn't, why wasn't she there? It's an animation error. It's not too much of a big deal, but when the um, episode is like, you know, really good and it's like a tiny animation error, I'll be like, okay, I'll knock a point off. But when the episode like you does bad, <laughs> and like for like other shows and stuff, I'm like, I'm not going to talk about it because it's, one, it's an animation error, people make mistakes, and two, I don't want to, I don't want to bring them down, Didn't I need to, so. But this episode's, you know, great, so, you know, 85%. And she's like, I gotcha, I gotcha, and, um, the, you know, and, and look at the blue and, and purple right here, it looks pretty cool. And, you know, um, they crash, the stage crashes, like, the Amphibious Got Talent sign crashes onto them, and the, you know, and they're like, <gasps> and they're like, like, yeah, I just thought it was part of the show. And the uh, smoke clear, clear scene, he's like, oh, grandson. I think this confirms that he is um, Sprig's grandfather, Hop Hop. I'm, I I always knew that, but if you guys are wondering, I, I'm waiting for the show to actually tell us. This is the moment. Hop Hop's like, grandson, like, are, are you okay? And he's like, oh, this is all my fault. If it wasn't for me and this stupid act, like, you were almost digested. And, and Sprig's like, oh. Hop up! All I wanted to do was have fun. He like throws down his wings. He's, he's all messed up. He's like, I just wanted to play my fiddle on stage, have fun. Why would you push me so hard? And he's like, Ugh, I'm trying to play the second clip. It's like right here, but I'm not sure when to play it. Mm. But he's like, Well, you know, I ran toward Tilda earlier the other day, and she said, You know, Ascot's are not doing so well, and. And heck, in a couple years, I don't even know the stand is gonna do well. Yeah, then you know, you see Sprig's face, like, oh, and he's like, I just wanted to give you the the better life than I can give you now. And I think I can play right here. I hope hopefully that wasn't too long either. He's like, you know, hop hop, like you know, I, I, my life is perfect the way it is, and as long as you're in it, my future will look pretty cool too. And look, look at Sprig's smile, like yeah, like, don't don't worry, hop hop. And look at hop hop's face, like oh, and she, she's like oh, and he, like a Sprig gonna hug his grandpa. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna leave it right there. And look at Anne in the background, and my face covering her face. But you know, we, we get the two news have and say, oh, you won, basically. He gave him the trophy. And it's like, oh, your fiddle playing was great. But how did you change that bat thing? Again, they thought it was part of the show. Like, in the latest news, they like, oh, you need to show this all over Amphibia. And show what you got here. And then the guy... Well, how old is he? I'm like, hmm... Because it was the same thing with the night at the end where Hop Hop was like Obvi. Like, ugh, he's like, he's an old man. I don't know how old this guy is. Okay, I, I won't knock a point off. I, I, I'm i assuming he's like teens to early 20s. I'm not gonna knock a point. He's like, Yas. I'm like, how would you know that? <laughs> Whatever. And then, you know, Hop Hop and Sprig, Hop Hop and Sprig look at each other. And he's like, thanks, but, you know, we don't gotta be stars. And then, like, you know, but we, and Anne's like, we, we, we will be taking the trophy, though, because they're going to buy our house back. Yeah, Anne, because you mortgaged the house. It still bugs me. Ugh, whatever. But, um, basically, um, you know, they're going to take the trophy, and then Anne's like, I mean, Anne, bleh, the lady knew, he's like, I don't know her name. And she's like, well, those, the, well, that is the most spectacular, weirdest family I ever met. And, and he's like, absolutely, darling. And then you have the, and the lady knew and the guy knew is like on like the the launch pad like the 
the springboard, and then we have Toadie and Miratosa all beat up because of the launch. He's like, oh, Toadie, I think the last act was pretty bad. Wouldn't you agree? And Toadie is like, yeah, look. And then he, like, not launches them, and he's like, oh, and they're both like, oh, crud, and then they just launched them, and that's the end of the episode. Overall, this episode was a 85% for me. Overall, this was a great episode. Fill me this. I mean, fill me this was a great episode. Cursed was a fantastic episode. So overall, this entire episode is a let's see, ninety five percent and eighty five percent. So ninety percent overall. This was a fantastic episode. And um, you know, um, tomorrow I'm gonna be doing um, combat camp and um, what's it called? The big bug ball game. You know. And, you know, that'll be episode 18. That's going to be tomorrow. And, um, you know, overall, this was a um, 90%. And everyone, you know, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for episode 18 of Amphibia. All right. Bye.